It hadn't been hard. The well-connected, seasoned special agent in the field had financed a very lucrative off-duty lifestyle for himself by being on the take for years. At the time, Cash wore the values his parents had instilled in him like a cloak of justice. He hadn't thought twice about turning the agent in and closing the case. Right was right, so taking the position with the AGEOs had seemed like the perfect opportunity. He continued working for the DEA and took on secret special assignments for AGEOs as they arose. And while he'd lost his rose-colored glasses, he'd still closed three additional cases for the AGEOs, all involving rogue agents. He'd gained quite the reputation with his superiors, while somehow keeping his secret undercover identity under wraps. That was also unheard of in his current line of work. Only he and three other people in the AG's office had any idea that when he was assigned to a case, he also sought crooked federal law enforcement officers. He'd wondered how he kept that secret so private, except that his lack of friendships or other meaningful relationships screamed the answer to that query. His entire adult life was chock full of undercover assignments and not much else. Though he did love working out. Most of his free time involved whatever local gym he could locate, or health food store, to peruse the shelves for any new finds. He wasn't lonely, though. He liked his life. Time alone came easy for Cash. He never felt the urge to share with anyone. Life had made sure of that. In his newest assignment, Cash had learned for many years and various reasons, different agencies under the umbrella of the DOJ had infiltrated the Disciples of Havoc. Undercover agents were layered deep inside the bike club. Under a cloak of secrecy, Cash was tasked with finding the responsible parties for the theft of missing money from the sales of the club's illegal trafficking operations. What goods were being trafficked and how the government participated in those sales were not his concern. He wouldn't muddy the water trying to understand the government's current position inside this one percenter motorcycle club. That part didn't matter. He had his assignment. From these elite operations, he had learned that good versus evil was really better stated as less evil versus more evil. Cash stood firmly on the side of less evil. But his focus wasn't coming easy this time. Being in Dallas again was doing a number on his head. His scattered thoughts pulled in distant memories he'd dealt with and filed away many years ago. That messed with the small amount of prep time he'd been given before arriving, namely the three-hour flight from Arkansas to Dallas. He'd assured his superiors that his history in this city wouldn't be a complication. Perhaps he'd been wrong.